we're at Paula for round one of, well, technically it's round 18 of the World Super Duper Motocross Series. And yeah, we're going racing outdoors. We're gonna go a little bit faster. We're gonna ride a little bit longer and um, we're gonna get hit with a little more rocks and a little more dirt and so, kind of kind of same thing different day different place and I'm excited I'm excited to switch it up I'm excited to go faster and uh, excited to figure this bike out and figure myself out and uh, just change things up so I uh, felt felt uh, pretty good. I mean, just uh, it's definitely a long track. Um, yeah, you just you don't have to work through mistakes because you don't really get a lot of laps, and um, a mistake can cost you time, but you can also make up a lot of time the rest of the track. So it's uh, yeah, just a little bit different mindset trying to uh, trying to. Um, maybe go back to the basics a little bit and just focus on carrying momentum it was uh, it was a good uh, two qualifying sessions um, yeah making some small changes on the bike and just getting it uh, riding a little bit better on the higher speeds and the rougher tracks so um, we're not really far off it's just going out and dealing with what we got and um, and racing so um, yeah my, my times in qualifying were were pretty decent um, I didn't really expect uh, well I yeah I didn't really have any expectations I just wanted to um, get going I don't have a lot of a lot of time on outdoors so just wanted to get going kind of get the flow of things and I'm um, just building my speed really um, because I, I feel good physically and um, my fitness, I, I mean, I, we've been racing all year, so it's it's not like nobody's not fit out there. So, yeah, I mean, just go, I got, I think I was 12th overall in qualifying, so um, that'll be a good gate pick, and we'll uh, we'll go and get some good starts. That's uh, that's the plan. You always give me like mid boot shoe. Yes. Uh, how's it going today? It's good. It's actually going by kind of quick. Our schedule is nice after Supergrass. How, how does Shane look? He looks pretty good. You're not you're Honestly, not I could see him for one turn. <laughs> That's where I'm at. <laughs> Welcome to Outdoors. Shane is sharp. Shane is focused. He is ready to go. Dang, Mary. Oh, well, I didn't know we had a news anchor on our hands. Yeah. <laughs> Back to you, Joy. <laughs> Thank you.
Um, yeah, I mean, I had a good start, and I went down on the second corner, and by the time I got going, I was pretty far back, and then, uh, I mean, I went as fast as I could. I was struggling with the bike really bad. Um, yeah. Not much else to say. I was, I, I was not going very fast, but I was working very hard, and uh, the bike didn't seem to be absorbing any of the bumps, and yeah, that was, uh, just riding so pretty frustrated on that and yeah that's it Um, we've had better. I have a mint in my mouth. Why do you <laughs> get me eating or something? Um, we've had better, but we will move on and do better. That's all we there is to it. Healthy. That's all that matters. We're alive. And a, a good second moto, all yeah. things considered. All things considered, that was a lot better. You any last words? No, I just got to eat my mint. <laughs> One day later. It's just the morning. It's the morning. <laughs> uh, bro, it's almost noon. 7.46. I was awake at 5.30 this morning. And now, I'm resting. Yeah, it was kind of a show up and jump in, really. Um, it was a... Uh, two weeks since the last uh, Supercross and um, yeah I've, I've ridden probably five or six times going into the race and so just uh, yeah I mean our team has a little bit of data from last year but um, we, we missed some chassis changes for Supercross and like this year I'm from last year so uh, Outdoors was kind of restarted a little bit um, for everybody this year as far as kind of getting some settings together. And so, yeah, we we kind of needed a race day to really kind of figure out where we were and how to move forward. So, um, yeah, definitely uh, results-wise not where uh, we wanted to be. Um, but I think it was, it was good for us as a team. Um, it was like, hey, we, we got some work to do, and and the team is is ready to do that. So it's uh yeah, it's not always uh, sunshine and rainbows, but we're uh, yeah, we're just gonna get back to work and and do what we can. So um, I'm excited for this week and uh, going into Hangtown. Um, yeah, we we have a good plan for the week. And next weekend's supposed to be hot, which I think is going to be really good for us. So, yeah, it'll it'll uh, allow some of the other guys to get a little bit more tired. Um, so, yeah, I mean, this weekend I felt good. It just, yeah, trying to go fast on that track 
um, and not really have a setup for it was really tough. So, yeah, it was uh, humbling and a little embarrassing. We'll just we'll keep working. Um, that's what uh, that's what we're gonna do, and we're excited about it. And yeah, my starts were really good. The bike the bike runs really good. Um, that was some positives from uh, from the weekend. Um, yeah, my starts felt super solid, and I was coming from the outside both times, and uh, had to cover a lot of ground. But I was there. I was there quick. So we'll be back. Any last words? I'm tired. <laughs> so is Jet. Yeah. See you, he, dog. He deaf. <laughs> Jet. Jet. Hey, Jet. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> he gone. <laughs>